Okay, everyone, I'm going to document this journey because I didn't see a lot of videos on how to do this. We bought a glass door that has two hinges um, for our shower, but there is no stud behind this wall. Um, the closest studs are a good six to eight inches away from where we need to install this door. So the question is, can we install without a stud? We're going to give it a try. Okay, so these are the anchors that I got. They're toggle anchors. I got two different sizes. I'm gonna hope to use the larger one. I just need to make sure I don't shatter my tile when I make the hole. So that's the next. I'm gonna do a test tile to see how big I can make my holes without breaking my tile. For this part, drilling into tiles is super easy. Just pick up a tile bit, dip it into water so it doesn't get too hot, and that's all you need. So I was able to drill the hole, this one here, um, big enough, it's a 5 16 hole. This is the mechanics of how it'll work. So this goes through the tile, it's going to then go through the drywall, and we'll drill it in, and then it opens up on the other side. So it'll be pulling against both the drywall and the tile on the back. And each of these is rated um, to hold about 95 pounds. This door is 75 pounds, and there's going to be eight of these. So all in all, there's going to be a lot of strength. Here we are drilling into tile with our tile bit. Drilling into tile is not as hard as it seems. So here's something you think about when you're drilling your holes. This is the outline of mm -hmm. our hinge. And when you drill the holes, they have to be way larger to fit the anchors. But you also don't want them to go past the border. So we're pretty close with the holes we drilled, but I think we'll be in good shape for them to all be covered up. Okay, here's our door hanging attempt number one with those original anchors I was showing you, and it was a fail. I'm gonna show you why so you don't make our same mistake. Okay guys, here's dilemma number one in our install. The screws that came standard with these anchors are two inches long, um, and it's not nearly long enough to go through our drywall and the tile layer. Plus it needs the width of that, this anchor to be able to expand. So we installed the whole door, and then realized that this, um, the anchors weren't catching, they were just getting stuck in the channel that we made. So you can see this was designed just to go through drywall, not to go through a tile layer plus drywall plus the width of our hinge of the door. So these are way too small, but think about that when you're going to buy these because it's gotta pop out and expand in the back. So you need to account for the width of your anchor. So if you get a bigger anchor, you need an even longer screw. All right, so we just got back from the hardware store and these are the anchors we got instead. Half inch, so the whole size is the same. Um, but these are much more secure and we can actually set them in the hole before we install the door. Okay, let's try this one. And that's pretty cool, you can feel when it opens. It's oh. awesome. All right, here are the new and improved anchors, and these feel so much more secure. If you look at these bags, each one of these holds 238 pounds, so these, this door is going to be extremely secure. Okay, this is us actually installing the door. This is definitely a two-person job. We had our laser level here, which was amazing. And after that, it's just a matter of lining up all eight holes to put the screws into. All right, and we have a door. This is me opening it up for the first time. Um, this door feels super, super secure, and we are so excited. We did it without a stud. And here is the final door. Um, it is all hung. We've been using it for the last six months, and it's been perfect.